Okay, everybody, so again, here we have a problem involving parallel lines, and here's one parallel line, here's the other parallel line, and we have a couple of transverse, one here and one here. And we've got to find each of these unknowns from A through to F here. Alrighty, in no particular order, let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Well, since 127 and A are supplementary, 180 minus 127 will be 53, so that will mean A will be equal to 53. Now, how can we figure out B? Well, since B is vertically opposite 64, B would have to be equal to 64. And since 64 and C are supplementary, 180 minus 64 would be 116. C would have to equal 116. So, C is equal to 116. Now, since um, C and D are alternate angles, that is, they're on the inside of a pair of parallel lines and on the opposite sides of a transversal, C would have to be equal to D, so D would be equal to 116. Now, since 127 and E are, uh, they are corresponding to one another, E would have to be equal to 127. Now that just leaves F to figure out. Now, let's see, if that's 53 there, this one would have to be 53 because it's a corresponding angle. And this one would have to be equal to 53 because 53 there and 53 there, they're opposite to one another. Now, if that's 64 there, this angle here would have to be equal to 64 because they're corresponding. And this would have to be 64 in there because this 64 and this 64 are opposite one another, and opposite angles are equal. Now, that just leaves, and if we draw a shape around it, that is a triangle there. All the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if we say 64 plus 53, that's equal to 117, and if we say 180 minus 117, we get 63. So F is equal to 63. Alrighty, I've solved all that. Now, what I'll do is I'll see you in class, and if you have any questions, you can ask.